in the human digestive system, starch is broken down into maltose by salivary amylase. Maltose is a reducing sugar. So, to prove how starch is broken down into reducing sugar, let's run one experiment. Happy watching, guys! Hi, my name is Nukiman Bing Sahat. I'm biology teacher from MRS Embetong. Today, I'm going to run a biology experiment. Let's come to my lab. First experiment that we will conduct is uh, activity 9.1 that is studying the digestion of starch in a food sample. Problem statement. What is the effect of amylase on starch? Hypothesis, amylase hydrolyzed starch to a reducing sugar. Manipulative variables, presence of amylase, responding variables, presence of a reducing sugar, and fixed variable, temperature of water bath at 37 degrees Celsius, concentration of starch suspension, and value of mixture. Okay, let's start. This is procedure for this experiment. Label test tubes as A and B. Add 3 ml of 1% starch suspension to each test tube. Fill test tube A with 3 ml of 0.5% amylase solution. Fill test tube B with 3 ml of distilled water. Warm the water to 37 degrees Celsius. Soak both test tube in a water bath with temperature of 37 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Remove 2 ml of the solution from test tube A. Then put into different test tube. Add 3 drops of Benedict solution to that test tube. Heat the test tube in boiling water bath for one minute. Record the color of the content. Then, add two drops of iodine solution to a reminder of test tube A.
observe and record the color of the content in the table repeat step for test tube B experimental results iodine test for test tube a the color of iodine does not change this is because all starch have been broken down by enzyme amylase into reducing sugar for test tube b the color of iodine changed to dark blue this is because starch is not broken down into reducing sugar due the absence of enzyme amylase. For the Benedict test, the solution in test tube A changed to brick red precipitate. This is due the presence of reducing sugar in test tube A. For test tube B, there was no change in the solution due no reducing sugar. conclusion the hypothesis for this experiment is accepted enzyme amylase break down starch to reducing sugar that's all from me class thank you very much bye